a.k.a. the hair trapper. This your girl Autumn, a.k.a. Pinky. This your girl Tasia, a.k.a. Fancy Way. And this is J.R. the Barber. Mr. I Got You Played. You can catch the Hair Trappers and Soul Snatchers every Monday at 2.30 live. Jack, 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 Jack. You are now about to hear the Hair Trappers. And you are about to get your Soul Snatchers. Soul Snatchers. Right here on Hair Trappers and Soul Snatchers. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Stop, stop, you guys. Stop, please. Stop. Okay, you guys, we're about to start. Episode 10, Boss Talk, Leadership Talk. This is the Hair Trappers and Soul Snatchers. We are back again. We are back again. How y'all feeling, man? If, if you right. haven't noticed, we all had the same color shirts on. Normally we don't, but today we have an interview. Somebody say interview. It's interview. interview. We got an interview. Good brother tell you the barber. So what he did was he gave us his shirt. He came on and offered a gift. That's how you're supposed to do it. I'm telling you. That's how you're supposed to do it. He came on, offered a gift. We all promote his shop. You know what I mean? Uh, he was a barber, got his own shop now over in West Allen. So he do white people, black people, Europe people, Asian people. He ain't messing around, man. So we're going to get into that real soon, real soon. Um, but you also got your normal co-host. We got two of our co-hosts. We called them the bougie ones. They went to Houston and they came back straight off the flight back into the podcast yeah. while we fuck with them. We appreciate y'all. Hey, this, we, you don't know this, but anytime some sucker shit go on, like a sucker attack or a motherfucker in the suck, we do this. Shit, man, I'm gonna kill that nigga that I'm gonna marry. <laughs> so we gonna try to prevent that. We, if we did two shows, we're preventing that, man. Y'all, y'all been up on y'all shit. Y'all ain't had no sucker attacks in a minute, and that's good. Normally, no Taser always have that. the sucker attacks. I ain't know that. Yeah. I ain't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taser on her motherfucking flashy girl. She on her fancy way shit. <laughs> Taser on her fancy yeah, way shit. Uh, all right, so we're talking boss talk, leadership talk, uh, a little bit jealousy talk. Basically, we're talking about elevation. You know what I mean? Essentially, that's what we're talking about. Episode 10, we're going to talk about elevation. We're going to do our uh, interview with our brother. But what we want to do right now, we're going to do our icebreaker. Y'all stop. Y'all, we okay, y'all. We, we calm down. Everybody love the icebreaker. They love it. We do an icebreaker called Kick It Up, Pick It Up. I'll, for example, I'll say name of colors. I say it twice to place emphasis on it. I say name of colors. Name of colors. Kick it up, pick it up, name of colors. That's once. Kick it up, pick it up, name of colors. That's twice. I'll give my color. You got to give yours. Boom, boom, boom. If you say what somebody else said, and. <laughs> or if you hesitate. <laughs> you have to drink. Y'all ready to play? Yeah. Is y'all ready to play? Is y'all out there ready to play? I'm a little slow today, but yeah. Let's get it in, man. Let's get it in. Kick it up, pick it up. Kick it up, pick it up. Name clubs in Milwaukee. Kick it up, pick it up. Oh Name clubs, clubs in Milwaukee. Oh Element. Clubs. Twist. Eves. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Drink. He kind of hesitated, though. You got to catch it. Y'all got to yeah, catch it. Hesitated. Yeah, you did a little bit. You did a little bit. Hesitated. Okay, okay, that's what it is. We ain't giving next him a pass time. on the next one, though. No, no, no. Sorry. I'm the hair choppers and soul shots don't be playing. So he, they, they sold it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 She's drinking already. <laughs> next time, we're going to catch it. Kick it up, pick it up. Name colors in this room. Kick it up, pick it up. Name of colors in this room. Yellow. Red. Green. Blue. Black. White. Turquoise. Purple. Pink. Hey! <laughs> I love when he drinks. I love when the non-drinker drinks. No, you got to drink liquor. <laughs> this nigga, well, fucking uh, Jehovah Witness or something. <laughs> I feel like oh, he all right. Man. He all right. Kick it up, pick it up. Let's see. Let's see what we going to do, man. Kick it up, pick it up. Name different actors. Not actresses, but actors. Kick it up, pick it up. Name different actors. Denzel Washington. Kevin Costner. George Clooney. Morris Chestnut. 50 Cent. Lawrence Fishburne. Eminem. Hey, got him. <laughs> I was going to say Chris Brown. He's an actor. Hey. I was really 
I was thinking any light skin nigga. I was just really trying to. You don't watch TV? Y'all ain't got no TV. You gotta drink. You gotta drink. You gotta drink. You gotta take a drink. Let's do what's in your trap. What's going on in your trap? This is a time uh, within our segment where we talk about, we promote what's going on in our businesses. Every one of us are barbers or cosmetologists. But uh, the major- all of us also have something going on besides and outside that chair. So we want to talk about uh, what, what's going on in your trap. Uh, we want to start with JR. Uh, just came back from Houston. Yeah. Know you were doing your thing down there. What's going on in your trap, King? Uh, nothing new so far. I'm still doing my one-on-ones. Um and really right now that's uh that's really it. How that's going right now? It's ones. going it's going real good. That's good like stuff, man. you know, at first I was a little bit of uh, uh <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit uh nervous, but now it's like pff. Yeah. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. You ever did um what they call it uh, stage cutting? Stage you know, cut in front of a lot of people. You you mm-hmm. you've been you at like barber party. Uh, platform artists. Platform artists. Uh uh. That's the, cutting in front of a whole lot of people. No, yeah. no. I, I, I know what you're talking about, though. Right, right, right. No, right. I ain't never did it. Shit. So I would think Yet. the nervousness would come from Yet. somebody literally watching you as you right. cut. But I know you you used to that as well. Right. You know, you got the clients watching you. You got everybody watching while you cut anyway. You going live, people watching you while you cut. Yeah, but other that's than good. that, that's good. Um, uh, that's really it right now. So you got real live students. Yeah. That's love. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out on that. Every guy. Sunday. Yeah. Every Sunday. Yeah. Every Sunday, what time are you doing that? Uh, I start at 10 and I stop at 5. Awesome, awesome. Yep. Tasia also came back from Houston with the whole Milwaukee. Shout out to everybody that's going down there making Milwaukee look good. What's going on in your track? That's right, that's right. What you been, what's going on in your track? Uh, I'm finna, I'm, my trap is still going to be my trap. Um... I'm finna dip off into some other stuff. It's gonna compliment here as well. Like what? I don't wanna talk about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, but it's gonna compliment the yeah, hair. It's gonna course. compliment your yeah, business. It's, also. it's gonna compliment fancy way. Oh, that's what it's about. So, that's what yes, it's about. Look out so it's not like you're gonna be a carpenter no, and do hair. No. Call awesome, awesome, be awesome. A carpenter. Oh, awesome. Just, you ain't finna switch up the whole industry. You are, you are, you are, you are. All the excuse me, what's going on in your trap? Nothing new so far. Um, I am looking into starting to do hair included styles. Mm. Um, I do hair included styles for braids right now, but not anything else. So I'm looking into into that as well. Um, but other than that, nothing. The cosmetology line with the the hairstylists and barbers. Mm-hmm. We're doing a t-shirt line with that. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, we'll talk about I that. I definitely barber. need yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. That barber shirt. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Need, so with the I hair, need a trapper, black and white one and a red one. I, I got. You. I got. You. I swear, I, I, got, I got. I got the Both red one put together. I want blue. Yeah, ASAP. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I we, saw it, I, I need blue. that. Yeah. It's uh, the hair <laughs> trap. Through the hair trap, we're gonna create um, a community on Facebook. So we're gonna do the hair trap page. But within there, man, a lot of different things. But the t-shirt line is something we're gonna definitely go hard with. A lot of different photo shoots. So definitely, pretty much, essentially, what they is is shirts. That encourage us to continue doing what we're doing. I'm gonna have a shirt to say something like these hot irons saved me or barber and saved me. My shirt mm. I'm getting is called Barber and Save Me from a 905. You know what yeah, I mean? So something hard. like that, bro. Yeah, it's gonna go dope. crazy, bro. It's going so that's what we're gonna do. And Autumn is helping me with that, and she's gonna also be uh getting together the models for the photo shoots with that. So, so did she make crazy the move with that. yet? Though, what she I had. We know. talked about it. You know what I mean? Did it's you a, make the move? It's yet. most definitely in, in progress. Yeah. Got it yeah. right. Got it right. Okay. <laughs> she making it. it the, it's going to be up and running before our next podcast. That's show, right. So. Yeah. Shout out on that. That's what's up. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> you totally missed it. it. So we're going to skip our interview because uh, the whole time we're going to be asking what's going on in his trap. So after this segment, we pretty much get into our interview. But uh, right now, what's going on with, with in my trap is still looking for barbers and stylists that's really uh, adamant about doing this. You know what I mean? I'm not looking for people that just want to give bit booth rent. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I can care less about your booth rent. I want you here because mm-hmm. the focus is to get the community. So if the community is coming in and no one's here, 
I don't need right. you here. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm focused on looking for that. I got a good barber now. Uh, shout out to my barber, Black the Barber. Okay. I saw that, yeah. I saw bro that. is, bro that's is the, the ideal barber. I love it. He's there You're before crazy. me. And sometimes he leave me after me, but he's there. He's responsible. He's clean. This one, tell you what I do like. Let me tell you what I like. It's a small spot, right? Mm-hmm. It ain't no big ass fucking place. And I'm not really, you, I talk when it benefit me to talk, mm-hmm. contrary to proper belief. I thought I don't like talking. Contrary to proper belief. I don't want you just talking to me because we're around. Right. Right. Some people think you have to talk, talk because we're around. Right. No. Right. I love that he I don't feel like that. Team. We can both be in there. He watching TV. I'm watching TV. Or he y'all, doing his thing. I'm doing my... Yes, yeah, yeah. bro. I don't need you always trying to talk to me. Yeah. That was my biggest fear with having only one barber. Man, that brother don't do that. Shout out to you again, Black. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, brother, for just having your own, being your yeah, own man. Being your own man. He focused. He focused. That's Cause right. Because that's how I am. I don't like talking. I don't like all I that, man. I put my headphones in. I be in my zone. Yeah, that's right. So in the, with also the mentor service, we do the mentor service Tuesdays and Saturdays. I still got that going on. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, right now the T-shirt line, I'm really, really focused on. I just, I just built a website. I give y'all this information too for this website. I did it in like 15, 20 minutes, man. It's really, really cool, you know what I mean? But um, just got my website together. And um, these T-shirts, man, these T-shirts, this cosmetology T-shirt line. Hey, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to sell 100 to two, 300 shirts per shirt. And I'm on them it. Them T-shirts yeah. going to go crazy. They're going to go crazy. It For will. real. I like, want a promote couple pride. of them. I'm I on it. it. I'm like, I got that's I the Adidas fit. That's the whole Adidas. I gotta have it. Yeah, the Adidas. <laughs> Shout out to JR for saying that to me. I appreciate you putting that right there. I'm out of the time. I'm out of time. You I'm said it. As soon as I get back, I need one. You yeah, said I, it. I want to wear royal blue. I got you, sis. And, and pink. And pink. And pink. And in the back. You might as well do too. And I'm, I'm in the name in the back. Right. We gonna, we gonna figure it out. At this time, we about to get into our interview. Let's go. Yes. Hey, y'all. This is our first interview. Welcome. We believe that we are so lit that we really enjoy each other's company so much that bringing somebody else on don't really be what we're thinking about. But we are elevating. Somebody say elevate. 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 And that's what we're talking about today, elevate, being a boss in leadership. Being a boss is more so about leadership than it is about anything else. Mm-hmm. Being a boss is not in your mind. It means you have employees mm-hmm. or an employee. If you don't have no employees, you're not a fucking boss. You might have the mentality of a boss, but you're not a fucking boss. If no one makes money from your platform, you are not a fucking boss. And we're talking about leadership. Because business is more so about leadership than it is about anything else. Is that right, y'all? Yes, yes, yes. Tell you the part. What's going on with you, man? What's good? What's good? How y'all man, doing? How y'all we doing? appreciate you coming on, man. Man, appreciate, appreciate y'all on. for having me. Real simple. Where is your shop at? Man, my shop is located on uh, 1041 South 84th Street. It's right across the street from State Fair. Right okay. across the street from State Fair. You are in a really good community, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Definitely. My question is, you think about Barbara, where did you come from? What shop were you at? So I originally started uh, cutting at uh, Valentino's. That's on Mitchell, like 4th and Mitchell or something like that. Okay. I had worked there for like a brief stint. It was only maybe like a few months uh, years ago. Okay. And then I transferred from there, had to go get a nine to five because the money was too slow. You know how that be. I do. And um, one of my guys that was there actually kind of was like, man, you need to get back into it. And I came to Flipping Styles and I was there for like four or five years. And that's on 8th and National. So that's where I got my start at. And my whole goal was to go to the South Side and be around, you know, different types of hair, different. Multicultural. Yeah, because I don't want to just cut African Americans all day. Mm-hmm. I don't want to put my money in a box. So you know right. what I'm saying? So Limit I went there. Yourself, right? mm-hmm. I'm getting the best phase. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They learning from Puerto Rico, yeah. the islands. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was that was that was real detrimental to my. You said uh, flipping style. Yeah. Shout out to them too. I've, I've, I'm, a sure, fan sure. I'm a I'm fan of them via internet. You you connected with somebody from there too. You from right? The brothers go crazy in there. Yeah. Man. It's a big shop, yeah. It's a big shop, man. So I think when I was there, I think the max we had was like 14 barbers that's at one serious. time. <laughs> yeah. That's it's serious. That's a factor. Though. That is a lot of barbers. Those last videos will be cutting. So that's, yeah, what, that's, where you got, that's where you come from. Okay, and I've yeah. seen your work. You definitely, definitely cold, thank man. You, you, thank you, you definitely thank you. do what you do with that. Um, and I was asking, like, okay, see, when I first seen your shop, I thought you was in a different city. <laughs> you right you right by uh, State Fair. That's good stuff, man. Yeah, appreciate that's, that. How yeah. long you been cutting? 
Uh, I've been cutting hair for about 16 years now. Mm-hmm. 16 years. Yeah. Right? I've man. been grinding. Shout out to that, man. Longevity, man. For real, I've been grinding for a while, man. It ain't, it ain't easy, but it's easy when you wake up every day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The hardest part is getting do. to work. You know what I'm saying? Once you get to work, you love it. it's over. Once you stick that kid in the door, it's over. Mm-hmm. Before before the co-host gives you, uh, come up big questions, give us just a short synopsis of your story, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. From the first time you put them clippers in your hand to you say, fuck a job, Gosh. this is what I'm doing, to you cutting that ribbon, man. You know what for I mean? For sure, for sure. Talk to us right quick. All right, well, a lot of people know me. Um, of course, my name is Telly. Um, now, it's, you know, Telly the Barber. A lot of people know me as Telly the Barber. Um, I, I really started off uh, actually singing, so a lot of people know me from singing. Okay. I was in a singing group back in the day, me and my group. Uh, it was called Info. We was on 106 in Park. Doing a whole bunch oh, of things. Oh, it was in the park, man. Hey. Yeah, we was man, on shout out to that promotion. Park, that pro- God, doing you, that thing, you know what I'm saying? We was, we was doing our thing a little bit. Yeah. Then I got mixed in the wrong crowd. Uh, ended up going to prison. Did a nice little stint. Wow. How long was you in the joint? Man, I was in the joint for a minute, bro. I did uh, seven and a half years straight. Seven and a half. Yeah, first Dang, first yeah. case, too. So uh, in the joint, I mean, I was already kind of doing like little, you know, taper linings, little stuff like that on my guys and my boys before I got locked up. So when I got locked up. It was just opportunity. It's you learned in a joint. You increased your just... skill in a joint. Exactly. Same yeah. thing with JR, bro. That's, yep. that's what's up, bro. Yep. That's what's up, bro. So uh, that was, that's my story in the brief. I mean, as far as like I um, I had a little, little bit going on for me as far as like colleges, recruits and stuff for football, graduated two kids, that shot. You know what I'm saying? So was going to school in uh, Minnesota for a little while. It was okay. Dropped out. You know, didn't have transportation. All type of bullshit excuses you can think of. It came up. So then the little singing thing got the cracking. Um, and in the middle of a recording album and everything, and in the middle of our rise, I ended up getting locked up, you mm. know, getting involved with the wrong crowd, making poor choice after poor choice. And next thing you know, it bit me in the ass. And here we go, working on an album. Got the momentum going with everything as far as our name, our wave. Right. The 106 and, you know, 106 and Park That's crowd, yeah. the whole nation. And we starting to get a vibe, and I kill it. You know what I'm saying? So you got four people in the group. How you going to go on with three people now? Right, right. So we, you trying to replace old members with new members. It just didn't work. You know what I'm saying? So that, that was a big thing for me getting over guilt because I fucked up four people with three other people's lives. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, and We talking about leadership. When you were part of something, everyone's actions affects everyone's yeah, actions. Definitely. You know I mean? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, I definitely understand. Within your seven and a half years, how long would you say you beat yourself up about that decision? I say every day. Yeah, bro. I say every day. I ain't gonna lie. Wow, I say wow, every day. Wow. I say every day. Every day I wanted to. I wanted to apologize to my victim. I wanted to apologize to my family because I wasn't raised like that. Right. It was. I, I was really pissed at myself because I knew better. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody I met in prison or I ever come in contact with that now be like, I don't believe you went to prison or right, what you right, in here for. Right. You know what I'm saying? So one bad decision. That's so man. One bad decision. One man, can lead man. you a quick somewhere choice. That you would even think. Mm-hmm. It's about seven and a half. God damn, bro. You it's know what I mean? Stretch time. me out, bro. For real. So would you say? So in the, in that furnace of affliction we'll use, right? In that dark yeah. place, you was able to cultivate your craft. Was it therapeutic for you to cut while you was in there? Or it was like, man, I'm just doing this shit. No. Did you I- see that you be eventually have a shop of your own. Well, it, was, it definitely, uh, to answer your first question, it definitely was uh, beneficial to me. Um, I'm a, I'm just a grinder, period. Anybody know me, I ain't no bum-ass nigga, excuse my language. Right, but oh yeah. we I'm just the type, I'm just the type of nigga, I'm going to go get it. That's you know right. what I'm saying? I believe in God, but I'm not going to, sometimes I'm not going to wait on God. Maybe you going to pray, get up and go get it. I'm going to go get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That. So it's just like, uh, in there, I always kept a job, I always stay busy because my thing is, I'm wasting dead time. So the best way to spend dead time is to stay busy. Period. So Period. I stay busy, right. stay, you know, doing vocationals and whatever I had to do to just better my time in there, you know what I'm saying, to make myself better in my situation. So being able to have the ability to cut, that was cold, you know what I'm saying, that was good for me. I start off, I can do comb and a razor and a rail code. Oh, yeah. I could do whatever, you know what I'm saying, that's and right. it don't it don't matter. Now, y'all know what that is to the, the sisters. That's, no. a, that's, a that's a razor in a comb. comb, and a motherfucker right get you here. together like they got one of these. A real deal haircut. <laughs> a real deal haircut. That's how I you do it. Improvising. It. This shit crazy. I don't know. I've never seen it. Can you make one for our next podcast? Yeah. Put yeah. one together for the next case to show them yeah. the yeah. archers, the archery that come inside of that, bro. That's you gotta man, be cold. You gotta be. Yeah, that's, that's some cold <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah. One false move, it's over. How many, how many, uh how many facilities were you in cutting? Um, I was cutting at RCI, uh, 
I was kind of more so cutting on the unit at RCR because I was working doing my vocational um, cosmetology. I got the cosmetology vocational. Yeah, that there. Yep. Oh, oh, that's hey. awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh. Well, not uh, I said cosmetology, not yeah. cosmetology. I meant culinary. I'm sorry, wrong. Oh, culinary. Word. Okay, <laughs> but they, they, they yeah. don't have cosmetology. They don't got cosmetology. Uh, cosmetology is actually in Max. That's at, at the. It's in Green Bay. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Bay, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I did got my culinary. That's the only there. joint that got it too. What? Okay. That's yeah. awesome, bro. And then that's you get like I got credits accredited uh, through Gateway Technical right. and all that. So. It's it's real deal. Legit. Being a barber in a joint is the most popular position there is. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? You get Hustle all. Man of the year. I know what? what they trying to look good for. Ooh. Visit for that visit. Which ain't going to come in the street. Believe it or not, visit. Believe it or not, them visit. guards fuck inmates. Yes, oh. they do. You yeah, better believe it. And my visit grins is big fucking big fucking going on. How you know, Taser? Because I just talked to my friend in jail and his oh. mate told me, like, yeah, I'll be fucking the mate. She be bringing me food Facts, and all bro. kind of shit. Oh, yeah, I'm like, listen. I said, do Visit you be doing that under shit? The mat. He was Visit like, greens. no, I don't yeah. need, I need my I Visit Eli. Greens pressed under my mattress. They you know what I'm saying? Man, a lot of them COs going there, going to work okay. every day around them buff. Oh, Both yeah. African Americans. No names. I'm seeing them hick towns, stretching them little hick towns. Do hick towns? They going. They going. They ain't never seen no nigga. And he got some swag or something too. Oh, don't let you money. have no oh, swag. They, they go right on your account. See, you got a couple. St- oh yeah, they at you. I, I was um, and I appreciate <laughs> you. Right I appreciate you for being able to share your story like that. Some people can't articulate their story. Mm. Oh yeah, they can't. You know what I mean? In a way that's precise and detailed, boom, like that. But not telling too much of their. Not telling too exactly. Yeah. Autumn Pinky has some questions. I want you to read off your questions. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then you ask a question. And if y'all got a question, mm-hmm. ask the brother the question. But Pig got a whole lot of questions. Yeah, and I yeah. want the people to listen to the questions as well. Because I, all of these questions, he's going to answer a few of them. These are some more detailed questions, bro. <coughs> Go ahead, Pig. Okay, so I'm going to list all the questions off first. And right. then I'm going to address them singly. Um, right. Just so y'all can get an idea of what we're going to talk about. Um, what's going on in your trap? We're going to give you a chance to answer that. Um, has barbering always been a passion for you? Or are you focused or... Nope, I'm sorry. Has barbering always been a passion for you, or is it something that you just picked up? Um, when did you start taking your passion seriously? Um, number four, do you operate um, with your passion, or do you do you have something else? Like, are you a hair trapper, or are you a, a hair hustler? Um, did you have a mentor? If so, how many? How did it affect you? Um, question number six, yeah, are there deep. any mistakes that you've made as... Um, a beginning barber that you might have got that might have discouraged you or um, might have set you back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, Number seven, how important is it to have a vision or an end goal in mind? And number seven, um, for starting barbers, what would you recommend um, as far as equipment for somebody who's on a budget? Um, So that's that's some things that – I mean – Shout you out to those questions. That. No, I'm so good. You laughing at no, that last really question? Good. Hey, look. Cool yeah. yeah. You got like two hey, questions. Listen, cool Taser. Like, she told me like. Our other gift. Of course, of course. Listen, exactly. Yeah. She told yeah. me the yeah. questions. Right. Like, I want to read these questions over good to you. Good question. And I went to the questions. Oh I said, shit, we finna ask them. Them finna be the questions. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. let her, let her. I wanted you to share your story. She pretty much going to be our interviewer. But because we also have our two co that we know y'all. Y'all, anytime y'all got a question, pop in, Okay. Okay, get her I'll attention. Try. Get her attention. Pop in. If not, we just listening. I'll, at this I'll point. wait to the uh, to after he answers because I got a question as far as like the the north side versus the south side. That's but let's do that now, then. Yeah, let's do north that side versus yeah, south yeah. side. Man. Who winning that competition? So man? Have you ever? Yeah. Um, <laughs> damn, what's do the way those competition <laughs> shit, man? No, do the way those competition not, shit. It's not a competition. It's a good question. But, uh, it is. Have you always like no? Um, so worked on the south side. Well, primarily I always worked on the South Side. Um, I was just working at Sididi Style. Shout out to Sididi okay. Styles. Shout out to my boy Mel. Uh, I was just over there. I was working, I was working on the North Side for like since August. Okay, until I got my so, shop, so oh, you was on the North Side before you got your shop? No, nah, yeah, I was. A, yeah, I was at a salon just working there for a little while. You know. Okay. Yeah. So okay, <laughs> okay. So as a barber who's um some worked on I'm on both sides of the town, uh, I guess. Um, what I want to know is what's the differences in the north side and the south side barbers. That's a good question. I mean, in your opinion, the I, barbers. I mean, not the barber shop. Bar- this is the this is barbers. What, the barbers. As far as barbers and not yeah. their work ethic, or are we talk all of it, all of it, all of it. I mean, 
Yeah, that's a good question. The way to answer the question to me, I would say for one, I don't know a lot of barbers. A lot of barbers, I might know of them okay. off of Facebook or Instagram mm-hmm. or something like that, but I keep to myself. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? I let my work do the speaking. Facts. I don't get in competitions. Everybody asks me all the time why you don't compete because it ain't about the trophy. Exactly. Bring so me the client. Bring yeah. me the money. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> bring me the bring me the client so I can yeah. help change that person and help them feel better That's about right. themselves. Help right. change their life, and then right. I get you know what I'm saying. Then I get blessed in return for it. Right. As far as mm-hmm. The little south side versus north side. Because I actually I wanted to put together a, a barber battle, uh, the north side versus the south side. You know, it's still in the works. You know, I'm still. Yeah, That'd yeah. Be nice though. But I, uh, I'm gonna say right now for any barbers that want to get in that competition, if you can't cut straight hair, don't even enter in the competition. Mm. Cause they gonna slice your they head off. Crazy. They gonna go crazy. They gonna do comb overs. They gonna do right. mohawks. Right. They gonna do pompadours. Right. If you can't, mm. if, if you don't even know how to hold a pair of scissors, I, right. I, I, I just, just participate Ooh. as a as something. A something shot up Bibby when he said right. all that. Know, something right. shot up Bibby, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's his bitty. That's his profession, man. Yeah. Cause on my <laughs> promo video. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all like this. For my, look, for my promo video I shot, I damn near fucked up the whole promo video. I got there, opened up all my clippers, didn't have none of my guards. I did that whole clip. I did, I did the whole come over with just clipper and come. No one would have paid attention to that. I didn't no even one would have seen that. Probably would have thought you he seen his commercial? like that. Did y'all check his commercial? Yeah. Yeah. That motherfucker's so cold, bro. I didn't have nothing but my clippers to come and my liners. That's the question. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's who you know. With no you headphones. Have, okay, I got another. Okay, I got wow. another question. Wow. So that's that'd be that'd be abnormal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta hear what you put about the, about the So that's head. gifted, that's or it's like gifted. you stupid. This is, this is a skill. Wow. Yes, it's gifted. Missing, without missing without hearing it. Thinking about it. Oh, okay. So, Cause I don't know what the fuck. I be thinking the headphones is for decoration. No, no, they gotta hear what the. They, they, you gotta hear the beat so you can catch the tempo to blend it. They're queuing up the next song, so they got no. Song wow. They're queuing up with the next song. Like, I did not know fucking yeah. that, bro. Shout out to the barbers. I didn't know you guys were geniuses like that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay. Yourself too, man. I thought you were just too, playing man. music back to back. <laughs> That's I good shit. I'm too. like, what? DJ should do a podcast. If it, that <laughs> fucking... no, okay. I think, I think you still got like a second part to that question because you really want to know more so like as far as like... Work ethic. Work ethics and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to tell y'all now, nah, man. Hispanics, they be busy. Be and I say Hispanics because that covers Cubans, everybody. Right, exactly. Listen, I got a guy. Shout out to my boy Udi. My boy Udi, Udi, he old school barber as far as how he run his books. Udi had 12 people pop up, random. No bullshit. 12 people. And he going to fade all the motherfuckers in like three hours. I don't know how he do it. But that's how he do it. Bro. How the fuck you do that, bro? Tell me what I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? One head can take me three hours. <laughs> How long? Well, one head is so 20, 30 minutes. 20, 30 so I say, 30 that, I say that about work days. ethic because they can get a lot. You just got to keep going, bro. You just got to keep going. Niggas, man, we get tired. We First thing that's popping or it's hot out. We me, out. I'm niggas. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I never see outside, bro. When it's hot, summer days. Fact, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm at the shop, at I'm at the shop 8 to 6. Right. <laughs> eight. 8 to 6. 8 in the morning that's to 6 o'clock at night. That's a 12 hour. That's good, though. That's good shit. I'm stuck. You know what I'm saying? So. Most people who don't have that, they 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 in early so they could be out by twelve, two o'clock. Right. Ooh, horrible. You missing out on plenty. Who leaves at two? You know what I'm saying. Right. You leaving out on plenty of opportunity on the horrible. table. You know what I'm saying. Horrible. Any barber that leave before like six this. o'clock is yeah. freaking horrible. Or get to work after at nine. O'clock. Yeah, anytime after. I mean, I would say ten because some people got you know, but anytime after ten o'clock, you, 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 it's, it's, ten in the morning. So, no, I'm talking about anybody, who, any barber or stylist who leave work. Yeah. Friday or Saturday. And I say any day. Anybody who stay. Before after two eight. o'clock? Before before <laughs> yeah, six o'clock. I ain't right. until like you six ain't one of us. On you got a hair track. I ain't gonna say come in at eight. I come in at eight. I used to start at seven on Saturdays, but But when you a boss, you go in when the fuck you want yeah, to, man. Too. Even when I when even when I was employee at Flipping Styles, he seen my work ethic. Look, I need that key. But you still you a boss when you're self employed, you know though. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. You self employed. You 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 self employed. You're not a boss, you self employed. My apologies. Uh, self self employed. Am I to be so a boy? You, That's right. I'm speaking into existence. <laughs> so, do you prefer the the north side or the south side? I mean, obviously the south side. I home. mean, to Since me, honestly, it don't side. matter, bro. Okay. I can you can put me wherever, bro. Okay. I, it don't matter, bro. I'm, 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 because I can cut anybody. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you can send me to. Lincoln, Nebraska, and I'm going right. I'm gonna when blaze you say every motherfucker in the, in the a, a white dude, when you do his comb over, you do his shit, he's look at it, you say 40. 
He ain't gonna have no problem with that. Oh, no. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, he gonna say that in the nurse. They go to like, sport what? clips, great clips, all that, not knocking yeah, them, but they don't exactly. teach their stylists and barbers how to really cut hair. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They don't do that. They not teaching you. They don't teach you how to fade in school. They don't teach you that either. Sure, you you learn that on, on your own. Fade. You got to know sanitation and you need to know procedures. That's, that's, yes, that's right. all they that's teach you. Yeah, they don't yeah. teach you nothing. So a lot of these barbers that's crazy. Saying that's that's why they fading. Uh, to not teach fade. That's why them shop. classes yeah. like what you yeah. doing. That shit is needed, bro. And that's what I tell them. I'm oh, like, that's fucking good. I didn't know that. They not. No, yeah, they don't. I didn't know that. that. No, they don't teach you. They do not teach you how to cut hair. They teach you techniques and sanitizing procedures. Sanitize, sanitation. Clipper over comb is a technique. Clipper over comb. Yeah, yeah. They teach stuff like that. Yeah. Type shit. Pinky. Go on with the go questions ahead, that you ahead. feel uh, are yeah, sure, more important. Too. The questions that he have not answered at yeah, this I was moment. At, I was at uh, Jr. So let's go. I'm ready for you. <laughs> okay. Um, my first question. I'm gonna give you a chance to answer the question. Okay. What's going on in your trap right now? As far as um, anything new that's coming out. Um, right now we just growing. We we every day, day by day. Um, the phone ringing off the hook. Awesome, man. I got I got, I got the neighbors walking in with beers. Mm-hmm. Like, awesome. They loving me over there, you know what I'm saying? And I can't do it by myself, though. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I also own Telly Tumbles. That's a bounce house business. I haven't even been able to do no parties, and I probably turned down about 20 parties already. Mm-hmm. Turned down? Mm-hmm. Wow. What okay. I, do? I got to take time to hire somebody to train them, and they wow. have to be trained the way I train them because that's a big-ass balloon. Right. The wind blows. Take that motherfucker and flip it with 10 kids in there. I'm getting sued. Mm-hmm. I got insurance, but... That's the way you gotta right. do it, and right. it's my business. It's my name. So when you represent, when you got that shirt on and you putting up that bounce house, your ethic, your work ethic, who you are as a person, everything that I look into that. I don't look Facts. into. Oh, let me just hire a dog. You got some time here? Go fifty bucks. Go set that up. That's right. No. So it's like I've been turning down money and turning down opportunity because this is my baby. This is what I wanted. This is my dream, yeah. and I got it. And ain't nothing gonna stop it from growing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Shut I've been up, turning man. down. I, I ain't been able to do nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that. Hold on, no, hold on. I seen something about the learning center, bro. Yeah. What is that about? I saw that. Too. Yeah. So yeah. I was. That's what I was yeah. gonna tap into. I, I thought she was gonna. Yeah. Read the other part of the question. So I got um, inside my shop. My my shop is called Legacy Cut. So inside my shop is the, uh, we have a Legacy Literacy Lab. So basically, I have computers. Awesome. I have Legacy like a Literacy, literacy Lab. lab. Yeah. It, mm. It's basically like a computer lab. It's open for the public. Um, for for kids and adults. Um, if any adults need to come in and like job readiness or job searches, stuff that's like that, that's wow, available that's for them. That's fucking what? awesome. That's yeah, dope. Yeah, more that's than a barbershop, man. This shit is more and then, than like, a kids, you know, A lot it. of kids, they might come you know, in off the bus, you know, with their book bag, fresh out of school. They might have homework while they wait on their haircut or wait on their barber to get there or waiting to get service that can get uh, help with their homework from the, you know, from the so staff dope. and stuff like that. Have some mentoring dope. services going on. I, I love like what that. You got going on, you know? I love that. I I love that. Thank you, thank you. A lot of kids don't. They they parents. They don't want to do that homework. They help them with their homework. They don't. They don't, don't know their homework. And I'm me. I'm parents. <laughs> <laughs> For real, bro. I don't really be having time. They homework be hard as a bitch, <laughs> bro. Really yeah. we Super been hard. Out of here. I gotta go on YouTube to help you with your homework, <laughs> nigga. Look, look, you better start listening <laughs> to class. For real, you hop on that computer. Right though, Taser, you right. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope I, 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 I really salute that. I thank do. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so that's what we got going on right now. We're just trying to build staff. I'm still looking for like two barbers. Um, like you said, you was looking for staff as well. It's like uh, it seemed like ever since the recession. I mean, not the recession with shit. Corona was a recession, damn near for some yeah, people, because yeah. it made it made people lazy as fuck. Mm-hmm. We got all this money out here in the community, and niggas it's still crazy. don't want to work. TP, I didn't have brothers talking about for to come up there. I didn't have a brother actually come for a walk in interview. No, you know what it is, bro. Niggas want shit for free, bro. Niggas, niggas, want. niggas want you to be like, hey, bro, come cut. That's what it is. How much boofer? Right. Oh, you I'm, good, my nigga. You good, <laughs> nigga. You good. We energy's gonna you gotta pay me for because we energy's gonna still be like your water bill. Your 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 energy. Anybody. Lord, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, it don't work like that. That's real, man. Um, when it comes to barbers, I'm just, let me and stylists, what are you looking for in particular? I got my certain things I'm looking for. My main thing is I don't want nobody going in and out. Yeah, that's it, bro. I want your ass in here with me. Trapping. Longevity, Trapping. I would yeah. say long de- longevity is definitely a, a number one priority too. But before longevity, because I don't really care about it if you come and go, really like okay. buy that show loss on the opportunity. You know what I'm okay. saying? Because guess what? Legacy like, Cut's going to still be right here. Facts. In a few years, I'm going to own a building. And when I, I ain't say going buy nowhere. And go, I mean, as a barber or star, they only get come in and out. That's fine. Okay. I don't care. Because feel- guess what? I'm going to still be here. You this opportunity in the neighbors and all this opportunity going to still be here. So Facts. whenever you figure out what you got going on or what you want to do, yeah. depending on how you left, we, you might could come back. But if it ain't no room for you to come back, you just miss your boat. 
You know yeah, what I'm saying? But true. the door is open. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like that. Yeah. Like when I had my block party, I didn't. It wasn't about me. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to have a community event. That's why I had vendors come in. I didn't whack people sixty five dollars a vendor spot. Twenty dollars. This is love. I want oh, yeah, y'all to come love. out and represent y'all business and put yourself out there. Mm-hmm. It's not about me. You know what I'm saying? I would I never want to you be did about your me. Grand opening, bro. You had he had the ribbon out there. He had the gold scissors. They were small though, but they was gold though. They was, <laughs> they was a little twelve inch. But, but I was so busy that I couldn't. You know, I couldn't make it, but man, I like, understand, I bro. It's, it's love, know. though. I, I love that's love. Too though, busy. Was on. And then the rain, it was sad too, cause like Sunday and Monday was beautiful, eighty, no rain. I'm like, it's always some bullshit. <laughs> when you, you plan something, the day you do it, uh, do it I did it on the fifteenth. That was a Tuesday. Uh, that was a Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Yeah, I did on the fifteenth. Every day after that, the two days after that was, it was nice, beautiful, <laughs> fucking horrible. <laughs> but horrible. it was love. Awesome, autumn. You answered a lot of my first questions, um, all within that. So the my next question is, did you have any mentors? Um, somebody teaching you, helping you, assisting you, um, motivating you to keep, you know what I'm saying, keep going? Yeah. So how many did you have and how did it affect you? Um, let me think this one through for a second. Um, I mean, over the years, I might have had a barber show me how to do a cut or two, but primarily... I pretty much watch other barbers mm-hmm. and just mm-hmm. do my own thing. Okay. It's like parameters when it comes to barbering. When you when you going into something, if you don't when I didn't know how to do something, I went into it like I did. Right. Mm. Okay. Like at flipping styles. Confidence is serious. Like flipping yeah. out flipping styles, they should come at me like, Oh, I want a mohawk. I don't know I do no fucking mohawk. <laughs> right. But you're going to try your you best. Do because that. I, but I knew the basics of that motherfucker. I knew right. the base right here. I had to bowl, blow that out. Yeah. I know how to ball it out. And yeah. I know that the rest is common sense. Like, I know I can't do this or I can't do that. Mm-hmm. And it was just repetition, repetition. Awesome. Right. Repetition. Right, right, right. That's what what about the guy you talked about, the older Hispanic brother? Um, who? Which one? What was his name? You shouted him out. Oh my God, Udi. 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 He, he he man, he my age. He just I just say okay. old school because you know he just pen and paper. He rather do his books old school. Um, I mean a lot of people like flip it. I, man, I even shout out Flip. You know what I'm saying? Like Flip, he gave me an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? To 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 be who I am and to build my brand and to and to formulate myself. Awesome. Basically, awesome. he gave me opportunity. Um, and I was real grateful for that. Um, my guy Cali, my guy Zonk the barber. Um, it's a lot of barbers out there, man, that help shape who I am today and my and my craft and. Stuff like that. So, if you ever came in contact with me and you know who I am, I appreciate you. I could just say that because I don't awesome. want to miss nobody. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But, yeah. um, my next question. I mean, you kind of touched on a lot of this. You know, <laughs> um, were there any mistakes that you've made? Um, not previous, but any mistakes that you've made since you've been barbering out outside of? I'm gonna say outside of the joint um, that you feel like got made you discouraged or kind of set you back. Mm. Things that you you probably wish you would have did differently. Maybe you'd be a little bit further. Yeah, um, I could definitely say um, I could use this for an example. This would be a good example. So I pay like seven fifty for this class to learn how to do hair units. So I'm certified to do hair yeah. units. Okay. And guess okay. what? Okay, what? Now I'm trying it's to. It's been learn. two years and I still ain't did one hair unit. You know, is crazy. that based so on I, marketing? You no, know, it's crazy. I took a. It's, I mean, it's is like that the, marketing? I took a class but like I'm gonna be too. honest though. It's like it's really like solely like based off marketing because my thing is. Saying, any nigga in the city, which is only one or two people, I, and I know my boy Quez do it, and it's maybe one other or two other B-Cam people. B Cam do them too. B Cam, that's my boy. That's, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's who B-Cam referred me. Too, and B yeah. and he B Cam back. He's still back and forth Chicago. Correct. Shout out yeah. to my boy. Yeah. Shout out um, B Cam. Definitely doing his thing with them motherfuckers. Man. But the thing is, it's hard to market it because it's like you can market your certificate, you can market the picture of the person who instructed you and showed you. But you can't market your product and what you can do in your abilities because you don't have a client. Right. You don't have nobody to be like. Would you do somebody for free first then? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll absolutely not free, but I'll, at least. I'll definitely do somebody at a discount of service. Right. Definitely. What I don't believe in the word free, but we definitely do discount of service. I would. Get Taser up. Just bro. to get that crazy. that first one, I would have would definitely do a discount. Yeah, definitely too. discount. Just, yeah. just to get a picture. Because we talking. Because we talking. Right we talking. We talking three four hours of work. Facts, you know facts. So I'm going to have to block yeah, off for like a free. Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it ain't nothing popping during the week unless right. it's like a Monday morning or something early. You know, so I would say something. That's something that I kind of did that I regret because I haven't really hit it full force. But it's like I'm still trying to strategically figure out know how, you know, what's the so. best way I could attack it. You know what I'm right. saying? So I'm going to start my one-on-ones like you. Shout out to, you know, right. if you one Shout out to the one-on-ones. I'm going to save. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of people, yeah, hey. yeah, hey. people asking me about that too. Teach me the game, so. Ghost. 
Running your own operation. Hey, it's it's out false there. Period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So that's one of my 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 regrets. It's kind of like investing so much money and not even using it. I just literally walked up to this man and gave him this money and was like, "Good looking." Right, right. I mean, I remember everything and. I got notes. I got the whole game. He gave me the whole game. So you know how to do it. Yeah. It's missile, yeah. mumble misery, with muscle memory. Muscle memory. Yep. yep. <laughs> Question: um, When it comes to leadership, man, one of the things I've one of the things I've noticed when it comes to um, ownership of a, of your business, generating money is it's not about the money. Yeah. It's like money is a result of leadership. Your, your shop being clean, the way you handle people, the way you communicate with people, exactly. your marketing, your, you know what I mean? When it comes to leadership, what would you say would be your strongest point that will increase your salon? I would say my strong suit would have to be, uh, I'd say overall empathy. And I say That's that good. because... That's good. That's good. I always just be mindful on how I treat people because... I don't want a motherfucker to treat me bogus. Facts. Mm. I believe in Facts. first impression is the last impression. I believe if you walk into a clean environment, you're going to want to be around. You know what I'm saying? Um, I believe in just making shit feel comfortable, basically. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you will never want to be nowhere where you feel any type of advice from a person or a place, or you're going right. to feel some type of way. That's good. If you I actually ch- left a shop. Like yeah, like, it, it like if you, you vibes, know, if you go to, if you're a church goer, you go to church, you go to the club, you're going to feel out of place. You're going to be like, I'm ready to go. That's right. how it is with clients when they come into a dirty ass shop yeah. or dirty salon. You know That's what I'm right. saying? They they there for a service. They like, damn, let me go in here, let me get out. You go in the bathroom, ain't no soap, ain't no paper towels to wash right. your hands. That's nasty as a bitch. Yeah, it, it you know really what I'm saying? Bro, saying and Telly I'm, the barber yes. is the real deal. No <laughs> That's my boy right there. What's up, That's Darius? Love. Yes, the environment is definitely a big thing in the barber. Speaking of environment, I'm having to use that word. When I was growing up, bro, it was three shops that I I frequent often. Hair Kings, yeah. Sharina, yeah, they was they was in the ministry. Sharif and his uh, brother were deacons. So the church part of me, when I went to Sharif's shop, Hair Kings, bro, he always played public speakers, motivational speakers, and that became a part of me. Peep game, bro. Watch this. <laughs> I, for a salon, listen that. to this though, y'all. Y'all have to really listen because this is this is really good shit mm-hmm. for. How to create your environment when you become when you are a boss, when you got your motherfucking shop. What environment do you want people to walk away from? When I was at Sharif, every time I walked away from their salon, they shop, I walked away being motivated to be a speaker. Swear to God I did. When I left Fade Masters, at the time O had Fade Masters. That was when I left O shop. I was motivated to be a fucking drug dealer. Period. <laughs> Every barber so in that bitch sold drugs. Exactly. So basically, you're saying you was a victim in your environment. That and when you create what when you, you hear, what you what hear is your environment? When somebody leave your shop, for me, when somebody leave my shop, I want them to leave motivated. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, fact. I want the shit I watch, the shit I listen to, I definitely my walk. When, I want I, you to be motivated. Right. When somebody leave legacy cuts. What experience do you want them to have? I want everybody. Men, women, boys, girls, child, whoever. When you walk out of Legacy Cuts, regardless if it's for me, my staff, I want you to feel like you're the freshest motherfucker in the city. That's good. That part. That's good. From your confidence. Shout out I got, to that I got, I, For real. Because I got postings and stuff like that, motivational messages and it. stuff like that. So while you sitting there getting fresh, you can read different That's things. Right. and like you Kind of like what you said, you know what I'm saying? Part. And just building that, that positive muscle memory. So, yeah. But I just, my thing is just building confidence. I'm a confidence builder. I love mm. that, bro. Excels. I remember on, yeah. on Fifth and Center. Yeah. Fifth and Center. Yeah. That's all he played. Wow. What did it motivate? What did it motivate you to be like Jordan? What did it motivate you to be like when you left that shop? It motivated the space. The environment was just like everybody was just captivated by watching the videos. Oh, okay. What do you think? Peaceful. Yeah. Peaceful. Okay. Peaceful too. But to me, it'd be more. What do you think? People left away from with this dude only playing one of the greatest human beings in the world. Niggas thought he just loved Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, I was yeah. always looking for. I would watch that shit back to back. Right, right. <laughs> like, I can never saw it before. So. Like, well, you know who his favorite player is. Absolutely. Jordan talks about a lot about dedication and discipline. Mm-hmm. He give his credit to him being awesome, to his his competitive spirit and his dedication, being the first to leave, the first there, the last to leave. So like with somebody always playing Jordan, 
if I always play Jordan, I will also have that somewhere. Like, I want you to be someone who, I want to build on that. Like, be a robot. Be exceptional. <laughs> Go be a harder. <laughs> so if I always play Jordan, it'd be like, I'm really, what I, the vibe I'm trying to get you to understand is be abnormal. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, be, be fucking Another thing Stupid. I do in my shop, though, I know this is like, it could be kids. Like, if it's kids in there, I cut the music off and just play cartoons. Okay. I do Cartoon Network. I kind of like, I like to tailor the vibe into the, to to the clientele. Yeah, like if it's an older older woman coming in there, I'm not playing nothing like on my playlist. That's when I have some cussing Aretha on there. I'm going straight Tyrese. That's on, good. Uh, <laughs> Pandora. Some music soul, child. Maybe That's some smart. Avant. That's smart. It is. Because it, it is. might be old. It might set that old vibe, but they're not going to feel offended. You get like, they ain't finna you, get in there and call 50 bitches before they get their hair done. Period, bro. You, you, know, got, so three women, you got three older women getting their hair done, and you don't want to turn off. Pop that pussy. Pop that ass. I got it. Even though they might be ready to hear it. Let me tap in on that. It'd be be a time for the place. Now, if it's Saturday and it's like 7 and we working late, we grinding. Now, it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's different. It's definitely a time to shop music. She had to tell you that? Well, it wasn't me. It was not me. (laughs) It was the other stylist. And I'm the oldest. And now I, I... I I was like, was okay. So I was like, yeah. She was like, you gotta, you gotta. They don't listen to you. I'm like, yeah, but I. You like what they listen to? You was involved. Yeah, you popping too, shit. I'm popping too. It was one of them weird situations. I'm, I'm turned like, too, ain't I'm like, yeah. right. I'm like, Alexa play Chris Brown and the song that they played. I'm thinking it was gonna be innocent, but he he had cussing in it. But it was church folks in the shop. Right. I was like, and. and and I did notice one of the ladies like looking like what? The fuck? No, I, like, so my auntie just changed it, and I'm like, I ain't really know what to do in that space at the moment because you know take that's charge. where the that's where take the whole charge. boss part come in. And that's like, right. She, she sat me down and had that conversation with me, and I'm like, okay. the leadership part. I will personally she say the said leadership that to part. Me and I'm like, ooh, okay. Because I do want to make this clear for the record. Leadership is what you should have done, which take initiative right. and and control the environment. A boss. Would have done it too because a boss is normally a leader, but a boss get paid from their business platform and a boss have employees. Mm -hmm. I want to make that motherfucking clear. (laughs) But just imagine (laughs) on that topic though, having your client like kind of pull you to the side and be like, um, when you get your place, um, you ain't going to play music like that, is Mm. you? Or like just little stuff they say, something like, you know, or like, you know, just little comments, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. it's unwarranted, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they put you in a position like, damn, because right. I brought them here, you know what I'm saying? That's but right. we, we just here doing what we got to do. But I just I just always want people to be comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. JR, you remember you remember my first shop, correct? This, this, is this your first shop? shop. Yeah, oh, yeah, first yeah, shop. yeah, on Villa. On Villa. On Villa yeah. I lost my first shop because I was not wise in catering to the general public. And customer service. I only catered to fucking thugs. I, I didn't even realize that when you walked in, it was nothing but guns around. It was nothing but young niggas yeah. around. I had an after set upstairs. So my shot was downstairs. My after set was upstairs. Motherfuckers would leave the after set at 7, 8 in the right morning down. and come right down. I come to the shop at 10 o'clock in the morning. I got people still hanging, lingering from the after set. <laughs> it got to the point where we talking about, we talking about bad leadership. We're talking about horrible leadership. It got to a point where nobody in the community or no one else would come in. I had no walk-ins. Mm. All clients. Mm. And it had to be clients that was comfortable Around with a ghetto environment. ass environment. Yeah. Exactly. So now my second shop, I, I don't do that at all, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't do that at all. You know what but I mean? See, you learned though. Learned. That's why you said the second I lost shop. That sh- oh, one year, bro. <laughs> I lost my shop in a year. That's embarrassing, bro. Yeah. Like as I think about it, it's embarrassing, bro. Like mm. a year. How did that make you feel? Um, initially, bro, I didn't feel no way. Initially, I'm gonna tell you what made my kids made me feel bad about it because my kids they really took more pride to it, in yeah. me being a business owner than I did. It was Damn. gay. They was geek, bro. My kids was they took pride in me being a business owner. Mm-hmm. I looked at it like I'm a street nigga that took my money and invested in something wise and shit. I'm chilling with my niggas. Yeah, I'm just getting it. I'm just getting it. I ain't looking at it like this legacy. But to them, they seen you reach your dream and they was happy for you. They was facts, your biggest supporters. That's facts, bro. Now that's what yet. I think about. That's facts. I think, yeah, now I think about that legacy. This shit finna be around for 15 years. Facts. You know? Longer than that. Awesome, bro. Turning. Awesome. Any last words from you? Any last questions from any of um, the co-hosts? We finna close it out, but definitely appreciate you coming on, man. And um, thank you, thank you. Shout you, out you, to have you. Your, your, your campaign, what you doing? Continue to do it. The fact that you in West Dallas, you really a street dude coming in. I thought you were gonna be kind of like a guy that's like, uh, like Square. 
No, I'm, I'm sure I didn't cat, know you bro. even been to the joint, bro. So I'm, this is I'm really good for me. Cat, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know what I mean? So you just you definitely got that swag. What would be your last words to any up and coming barbers or any barbers that's going from uh barbering to owning their own salon mm-hmm. or stylists from going to the same thing? Um, I would say number one, um, post. Take pictures. Got to. Mm-hmm. Um, Ooh, I love that you said the that. number <laughs> number one. Yeah, it's free. It's free. And uh, if you don't believe in yourself, I ain't gonna believe in you. What you say? I ain't gonna believe. I ain't gonna believe. I love it. I love it. I mean, if you come to me or anybody else and you like, hey, I want to work here. I'm gonna be like, okay, let me see what you got. First thing you gonna do is show me your portfolio, which is your pictures. If you ain't got no IG account, you ain't got no Facebook, or you got all blurry ass photos. Get an IG account. We not taking you serious without an IG account. Yeah, even Facebook. I, Facebook. I don't, I don't, I don't knock Facebook. I'm, Facebook I'm 35. I'm old school. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. I, I, the blue, 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 blue. My IG don't do shit anyway. My IG don't do shit. My but no, Facebook my advice would be, man, take pictures, man, because you're going to be your first supporter. That's good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to have clear photos. If you ain't got the money, go get you a nice iPhone. Say that. If you ain't got the money, go get <laughs> you a nice iPhone. Who got an Android? Who got an Android at this table? Nobody. Don't take you can't no pictures. be on this podcast if you got With a fucking an Android. Android. <laughs> Shout out to our iPhone. Hold your iPhones in the air. Yeah, mine Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mine on the line. Y'all I see love it. that you y'all said that, bro. Real, bro. You can't have no weak ass phone <laughs> when you're doing a business like this. No, awesome, bro. Because it's all about visuals, man. Yes. Like, you can't go out of town and expect somebody to... You know, it, you can't network without proof. Without, yeah. You I can't network that. without proof. And You're your proof, your, shit, my your boy. proof is uh, what you didn't put down. You that's know what I'm right. saying? That's your paper. That's that's what you got. So without that, you ain't gonna have nothing. So start there. Get you some nice basic clippers. You only, you can get you some nice T outliners for like eighty bucks. Facts. Get you some magic clips for like eighty bucks. Get you the guard set for another dub, and you in there. That's only like what one twenty two hundred. That's good game. You in there. That's good game. You know what I'm saying? You can go right to the beauty supply store. Get you some razors, another pack of razors. I'm saying like two fifty. You got a whole kit. Y'all spend that on a on a pair of shoes. Facts. That ain't gonna make you no motherfucking money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you finna go trap them out right in Element the same night. Facts. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Around some, at least you can invest around in some clippers. Some fucking gold yeah. diggers. You get you some clippers. You know what I'm saying? You can make 200 and blow it and make it right back. <laughs> fucking fast. Do it like that. You know what I'm saying? But I would say start there, though. Real talk. Like, hone in on your craft. If you know what I'm saying? If you look at that picture, use that mirror. Facts. Use them angles. Use that mirror. Use that I mirror. It. I love it, man. It's good shit, man. Yeah, Y'all, this, shit, I'm sorry, but I'm going to just say this. It was our first interview, but I feel like this is very. This is awesome. Thank you you want to say it's our best? What you want to say? This is our best this interview. This is our best interview. But, but it's, it's our, our only interview. interview. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel it's like you're. Hey, it's it's like my, my mom would be like, "You're my favorite son. I'm your only fucking son." <laughs> <laughs> no, but this, you're right though. It's like really it was good. good. I feel like it was good. You had a lot of information. He set the bar. Yeah. He definitely did. Straight to the point. No, but that's okay. That was that. He can. He know how to communicate. And I love the fact that you. Focused in on what I focus on a lot, bro. Holding on your craft, that means your skill, mm-hmm. and promoting that motherfucking exceptionally. Mm-hmm. Bro, them two things will get you your some own money. Bottom uh, home into what you do. That mm-hmm. means get better at what you do. Study what you do. Get better so you can have your quality up to par, and then you learn marketing. Yes. Fuck, that's money right there. Right. I love it, bro. So, okay, I got a question. Go ahead, my boy. So, you said you just opened your shop, right? Everybody know you just opened the shop. So, do you have a, a chair available for... No, um, but the barbers are out there might not got no chop on. Yeah, so what or, I'm doing right now, um, that's that's a, that's good, a question. good question. You actually asked yeah. that because um, I'm thinking um, probably this Sunday coming up, I'm thinking about having like a, like an open run, kind of okay. like like an open house. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that you got to come and show me what you can do, but just come and see the shop. Right. People, right. people, people busy through the week. Mm. People, uh, they definitely ain't coming on the weekends to try to see nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's uh, 1041 South 84th Street. Good shit, man. Right across from State Fair. Man, right shout out to our engineer. Right there on the corner. Yeah, right for being the engineer, motherfucking for sure. on point always. Yeah, I like Tommy. I yeah, love Tommy. So Tommy, just, Tommy don't fuck around. Man. Yeah, yeah uh, tap if in. If you really need an engineer, man, fuck with Tommy, man. Go he got ahead, you. Bro. Get you together. <laughs> Yeah, I got, yeah, he on there, he on there, he on there. Yeah, so I'm thinking about just having an open house, basically for uh, anybody that want to come out, feel the vibe, feel the environment. I mean, it's it's one thing to see it on picture, but then when you see where we was before right. when I first walked in there to how I did I it. I seen now, that you know before. After picture. that's why I showed that, bro. That's yes. called vision, bro. A, yeah. This is what I want to lead at end off with, bro. 
talking about vision. When I seen your before picture and your after picture, it was like, mm-hmm. damn, dog, I didn't see that. Yeah. How did you see that, bro? So when you walked in there and seen that before, you really seen what you got now? I kind of, I didn't see how I had it now. Um, I just visualized a clean shop. Facts. Oh, I wanted an old, mm. rusted, clean vibe. Clean I got the big open windows. Open I just want a clean shop. Mm-hmm. So when you walk by, it'd be like, damn, it's nice in there. What's, what's going on there? Make you draw you in and come in there. And now That's once I got you in here, you in here. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> yep. It really That's do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And once you come you, in, you, once you come in, it's over. Facts. We got you. You know what I'm saying? And that's you that was, that was there, my correct? aspect. Yep. I got a shout out to stylist. Her name Raylan CW. Wait, well, shout out to his stylist. Yep. Shout out to my oh, stylist Raylan. Um, she 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 definitely accepting clients. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can check her out on Facebook. But um, that's that was my vision. Uh, when I walked in there, I always started with a color. I'm a color person. Um, my favorite color blue. G-D it's my dream. So. I had to definitely uh, put the blue on the wall and just, right. you know what I'm saying, just just go from there and That's just right. let the mind, just, I'm a visual person. Bro, I love that you got that ping pong, but I'm thinking, I got to get that. Bro. Yeah, bro, That's I got that table, awesome. I, I got that it. table from uh, from a white couple out in, um, like, Waukesha, fat ass crib. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, like, I rode Facts. through that boy like, man, I don't even want to be over here. Facts. I got to cut a lot more heads to get up over here. But they right. was up, up. They coming. was in their crib. The when they it's sold coming. me that, it was like a combo. It got the air hockey, foosball. Oh, that, table oh that's like four, five, and one. Yep, thing. You just pick the top up, and it's kids go right room. to that, do they? Every time. I love it, bro. Yep, that's every time. Keep them occupied. That's that's right. Not climbing on chairs and, you know. Yeah, it ain't that much to mess up at the shop. Yeah, Anything else shit. from any one of you guys? Taser, JR, Pinky. Oh, I just, I appreciate you coming out. No, I, appreciate I really you. appreciate y'all. You know, my boy hit me. I'm like, man, I. Last a, minute too, you y'all. A lot of information. I asked this brother. I've been, I've been talking to him about it, but I asked him, can he come out yesterday? Yesterday I asked him, mm-hmm. and he said, he said, I got you, bro. I hey, said, but see, awesome, when you bro. make your own schedule, and you your boss, you, That's you what do it? that shit. Come yeah. on, now. <laughs> you you talk do it, that talk shit. It. Better talk that it. shit. What's good, y'all? Yeah. One thing, one last thing, bro. I didn't even ask you about it. I'm asking you live on here, so you can't say no. Uh, we got to watch <laughs> my boys, my mentor service. Yes, tomorrow we have a um, field trip. Okay. I'm responsible for making sure we have a field trip. I would love for the field trip to be at your shop. Oh, that's what's up, bro. We're going to grab something to eat. We're going to come over there. Uh, They're going to play the pool table, shit, the pool pond, the the, the food table. They're going to be looking at you, cutting hair. I'm going to be asking them what they learned. So they they, they, they got a homework assignment when they come to your shop. I like that. Yeah, let's do it. But we'll definitely be there, bro. I appreciate you, bro. So what time is you doing it? Because I... So y'all heard that. Make sure y'all come out. Tomorrow's Tuesday. So uh, the program is from 4 to 7. Okay. We'll be at his shop. By 5.30. Okay. okay. So we're going to okay. get something to eat, and we're going to be straight to his shop okay. on full stomachs Facts. tomorrow. No, 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 no. What's, to, what's today? Monday. Can Tuesday. Chaperone? You definitely can. <laughs> okay. You definitely can. If y'all want to chaperone, I appreciate that. I swear I will. So at 5 o'clock, come to the shop at 5 o'clock. Okay. And then we're going to. I know exactly where it is. It starts at 4 to 7. Please be there at 5 o'clock. We're leaving at okay. 5.30, so we won't be there. We'll be there at about 6. Right. We're going to eat first, and then we're going to come to you. Man, I pre- six o'clock tomorrow. That work for you? Yep. Awesome, bro. I'll be in touch with you, of course, about the detail. But yeah, man, I want them to come and they're gonna be asking you plenty of questions. The person who asks the best questions is getting twenty dollars, so they're gonna be asking you some really. Oh yeah, that motivate them right there. Mm-hmm. Hey, we at this time we are Anything definitely done. Thank y'all. We'll see y'all later. Thank y'all for watching. Telly the Barber, where can we follow you at, bro? Yo, follow me at Telly the Barber eighty six on IG. <laughs> Okay. Also follow me at Telly the Barber on Facebook as well. Also, uh, I want y'all to follow uh, the, the shop page. It's underscore Legacy Cuts underscore on awesome. IG. Awesome, man. Keep doing you, boss. Thank you thank again Thank you, thank you, out. thank this you. Was, this was nice. This was we done, Tommy. Uh, peace out to the yeah, keep the questions, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, he got his name on the top of this and everything. The date.